Hi there, I'm Marie. Today, I want to show you how to sprout alfalfa. We'll do it two ways, in a jar and on a tray. Alfalfa sprouts are highly nutritious and tasty, and they are super easy to grow at home. Their seeds are small, even smaller than sesame. You need a jar with a big opening. Plastic or glass jars both work. This cover is fitted with mesh to keep the seeds from falling out. You can also secure the mesh with a rubber band. Use any material you have on hand. I'm going to use 4 teaspoons of seeds in each of two separate jars. The smaller jar on the right will be used for sprouting on a tray. Add water to them and let the seeds soak for 4 hours. After soaking and before draining off the water, add 1 tablespoon of white vinegar to the jars and leave for 10 minutes. The vinegar sanitizes the seeds. It also helps prevent molds from forming during the process. This is a preventative measure and is optional, but I recommend it. Rinse the seeds a couple of times. Then, Jiggle the jar so that the seeds are scattered on the sides. Invert and tilt the jar over a bowl to continue draining off any remaining water. These are a pair of standard sprouting trays. The top one has holes for drainage. We'll light the top with paper towel so the seeds won't fall through. Now transfer the seeds to the tray. And spread them out as evenly as you can. You need to spray the seeds twice a day with water to keep them hydrated. Rinse those in the gel twice a day as well. Cover the seeds to block them from light. I drape the jar with a piece of dark cloth. They germinate better under dark conditions. Keep them in a cool place with good air circulation. I don't block the jar opening here so the sprouts can get air. There's a gap between the tray and its cover so air can circulate. So this is the end of day one. As you see, they have germinated. Their roots are almost half an inch long. They look about the same on the tray. And remember to water them. Let's look at day two. They look healthy. They are about an inch and a half long. Let's see day three. Mm, the jar is getting fuller. They are twice as long as yesterday. So far, they seem to be growing at the same rate both in the jar and on the tray. Okay, today is the end of day 4. This jar is really jam-packed.
and these are equally tight. They are about three and a half inches long now, and it's time to harvest. You will notice their color turn greener after they were exposed to light. The sprouts in the jar have been rinsed daily, so they are ready for your recipes. They are great in salad and in sandwiches. For those on the tray, simply pluck them off the paper towel. Store them inside an airtight bag. They'll stay fresh in the refrigerator for at least a week. Both of the methods work well with good results. My personal experience is that to do well in the jar, you do have to make sure your room is not too warm. It's best to keep your room temperature below 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 27 Celsius. Thank you for watching. If you found my video helpful, remember to subscribe for more future fun videos. Bye for now.